What's going on guys, my name's Liam and welcome to a game called Dungeon Defenders. Right now this game is going for 75% off in the Steam Flash sales. So by the time this video comes out, it should be about 4 more hours for you to get this game for a price of £2.79. But is it worth it and that's what hopefully my gameplay will either persuade you or dissuade you from getting this game in the Steam Summer sales. Of course the price may vary if you're watching this video a bit later. But uh, there you go. So first thing to note is that it is only multiplayer. You cannot play it by yourself, there is no single player. Um, you have to play either online or co-op with some friends. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to play it uh, just online, um, but I might grab some few friends if I like the game enough to make a series out of it. So, um, you can see the title screen here is just simple. Um, you got options, obviously, you got general controls voice. Um, I recommend you turn outgoing voice off, just because Hearing people swear is the most annoying thing in the world. That's the first thing you might want to do. Um, so there you go. But let's uh, let's go play online. I've already made a character here. Um, let me close that. I've already made a character here. It's level three. But for the sake of a new video, I'm going to make a new one. The apprentice is eager to delve deeper. Blah 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 blah. Um, the squire. Let's go with it. Let's go with the squire. With every slice of his blade. Building defenses of brute force and limited range. Okay. The squire prefers melee weapons as his instruments of justice. Bludgeoning spikes and whirling blades unleash okay. the rage he bestows upon his foes. Sounds good. So we're going to go with the knight. You've got archer, mage, or knight. Uh, of course, you can customize it in um, pretty easily here. Let's let's make him red because why not? Um, but yeah, he's fully customizable, which is kind of cool. Um, let's call him. Liam instead of Lancelot and yeah the game itself is kind of tower defensive um, but it's 3D tower defensive so you're not con constrained to a board any longer you're you're playing with three other people who will um, basically work with you to defend these things called Eterna Crystals and you've got the wave of bad guys that you need to defeat but I think it's best shown if I go ahead and show you guys um, Show you guys. Let me go for a quick match here. Joining game. Hopefully I don't get kicked out. Because I've joined a few games where they just kick me out instantly. But we'll see how that one works. So. Um, we should be on round uh, wave one here. You can see everyone's level one. Um, in the bottom. I had a. Um, I had a level up. So you open I to open your inventory. And we can do things like inc increase our damage. Our health. But for right now I'm going to increase our damage. And that has taken us from level zero to level one. Um, so you can see now in the bottom right, it's level 1, which is nice. There we go. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually ready up. I think I might have been kicked from the game. Yeah. <laughs> you see, that happens a lot, guys. It's rather annoying, but... Um, oh, well. I'm wondering if I can do a private match instead. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Kind of just to show you guys, you guys, you guys get the game rather quickly instead of having to do all this. There we go. So let's do that. There's a lot of loading in this game. That's another thing. It's uh, it's rather annoying. But we're going to play Foundries and Forges today. See how this one works out for us. Um, yeah, I did want to show you guys the online game. You know, uh, literally online. is because it doesn't seem to like you a whole lot. Um, you know, hosts will kick you and you will lose connection an awful lot. I think that's something they need to work on. But I think the game is, rather ma is made rather for your friends. As opposed to, um, you know, you playing online, it's supposed to be co-op. Um, so, you play online but with friends as opposed to just random people. But uh, we'll see how this one works. Now, where are these waves coming from of bad guys? Down there. So, you can see the ga the bad guys are right here. Um, you got some pretty epic music in the background. And really, the only thing you have to do is defend the Eterna Crystals. Um, okay. Okay. There we go, and now I saw some other guys over here. These guys will ignore you, um, unless you start fighting them. They'll ignore you to go for the crystal until you start fighting them, so there's that. This is the thing we're defending right here. This is the Eterna Crystal. It's got an entire backstory of it was used to kind of hold in the evilness of... Um, holding the evilness of previous enemies. But, uh, yeah. So this is what we're defending. Because the, the bad guys want to unleash the enemies back into the world. 
whereas you are obviously defending it. So we've got 9 out of 18 enemies, we're halfway through. Um, let's see where the rest are coming from. Um, okay, so we've got a few down here, a few in the middle. Let's go ahead and head over here then, take care of these dudes. There's quite a lot of them. Yeah, this game is insanely difficult as single player. Um, it be, just because there's so much to do, so you really do need people to play with. Okay, there we go. So we took care of those dudes. Um, where else we go? Okay, there's people approaching the crystal now. I'm only going to show you guys one level, just because I don't think I'll be able to do wave two. Um, the game is incredibly difficult if you're by yourself, and there's no really getting around that. Um... Online kind of sucks, and you need friends, quite frankly, to play this. You need co-op, as opposed to just online play. But there you go, that's the first wave complete. It, get, it starts to get really, really difficult after this. Um, but we'll see. So let me go ahead and level up a few things. We've got two points to spend, and we can inc increase all our, you know, defense base damage, defense health. And so this will all increase the um, abilities of the Eterna Crystal. Um, but right now, I want to show you guys kind of the uh, the benefits of the hero more than anything else. But this will get us to level 2 as well, which is nice. And let's actually do that. There we go. So we should be level 2 now, I believe. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and start the next wave. Let's do that. Let's start the next wave. And um, hopefully not die. But yeah, all in all, it's a fun game. I will say that. It's a very fun game. Um, I don't like the fact that it is literally the exact same for single player and multiplayer. As in, if you just want to chill by yourself and hang out in a private match, you can't do that because you will get owned by Wave 3 at most. Unless you are very, very good at the game. You do need other people, and I, I, I don't like games that kind of make you play with others with no option of playing by yourself in the first place. I think it's kind of sucky, but... Um, you know... It is a multiplayer game, the difficulty doesn't change between multiplayer and single player. The only way you can play single player actually is through a private match like I'm doing now, so there's that. Um, so it is possible to play single player, but you have to be very good if you want to actually advance uh, in single player, just because there's so many different directions people can come from and whatnot. Okay, you can see that these guys are already at the crystal. I'm pushed back to the crystal, which is not fun. But yeah, single player in this game is very hard. And it, it's not supposed to technically exist. It only exists because I've um, I picked a private match. The game's designed around multiplayer, quite frankly. And I don't think that's good, but, you know, whatever. Okay, let's do this. Ah, uh, let's own your face. But yeah, once again, guys, the game as a whole is fun. Right now at the recording this video, obviously it will change if you're watching this a bit later or whatever. But when I upload this video, from the next 5 hours or around that, um, the game is 75% off at £2.74. And I'd say it's worth that, to be honest. I'm enjoying the game. I've played it for about half an hour so far. And it's a fun game. Um, you know, it's probably not going to be too much fun if you've got, um, you know, if friends don't buy the game as well. So you've got literally playing it by yourself. That, that would not be fun. Um, but there you go, that's wave 2 complete. And you can see that the crystal is doing actually quite well here in terms of health, because it's got all the gems. Um, but is there anything else we can upgrade here? Okay, so we've got no skill points right now, which is unfortunate. But uh, yeah, so there we go. Build phase, that's interesting, I've not seen that before. How do we go about building, I wonder? That is interesting. Okay, let me see this. Oh, this is new. So we can repair defenses. Okay, I like that. So, I might have um, been wrong here, guys. It looks like you can build up barricades through the use of numbers and block off certain areas. Ah, indeed you can. So, of course, I've just built a barrier there. Um, I didn't know you could do that, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. So, it is literally a tower defense game. Um, you know, true to form. It's tower defense. Okay. Um, you block off areas, so it actually means that it is kind of doable, then, in terms of being able to, you know, take this by yourself even. That is very interesting. I, yeah, okay, so you need 30 gems to summon, so we'll get more gems here. 
There we go. Um, okay, let me do... I think it's because it's a private match. I also have more time to um, build and such. I, I'm not restricted by time constraints, so I can build as much as I want. So there is that pattern of... Um, of being able to just control it. Um, let me do that then. We'll do put that there. And then we'll also make the guys be funneled here. Like that. There we go. So we've got these defenses. And as you increase levels, you will be able to uh, buy more things. As you get more gems, that is, not levels. Um, you can, you'll can you be able to buy more things. But uh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. I really do. Right, so let me go ahead and get some more gems here from this place. There we go, we like that. Um, I want to see what this is. Okay. But uh, let's place some more defenses here. And then we'll place one here as well. Oh, we've got no more. So uh, what I'm going to do now is start the next wave and we'll see just how these barriers affect gameplay. Okay. But uh, let's see. So we've got these here, obviously. Um, so I'm just trying to work out how to get back into my character. I um, can't remember how I did that. Okay. Let me see. Um, was it G? F. E. W. Yeah, the controls aren't explained too great. But uh, we'll see how these barricades work. I'm guessing that they're going to target the barricades as opposed to me. Um, we've got guys coming through here. Okay. Well, let's go for them right away. Take care of these dudes. Um, did that barricade just kill you? It did. Okay. That's interesting. Let me take care of these guys right away. There we go. So single player is a li little easier with the use of barricades. Um, it is a tower defense game, so obviously... Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but you can, obviously, um, you are able to jump over the barricades and take these guys out. These are the strongest um, mobs you'll encounter in the early game. But, uh, yeah, obviously mobs get harder as the game progresses as well, and they get more frequent as well, just as in any tower defense game they do. Um, but let's see here. Okay. Let me do that. Okay, I need to get back, actually. Not doing too great. I'm gonna do that. Come on, come on, come on. They're, they're attacking the crystal. This isn't good. So, basically, it's just defend the crystal, but instead of the original tower, the, you know, the traditional tower defense of you create monsters, you just create barricades in this. Um, you create barricades and, um, you know, things like this and such. So you've got a nice little inventory of things that you're allowed to create. But as a whole, it's, um, you know, it's a lot of fun. There we go. But that's another wave complete. Um, there's six waves in this particular level. We've just completed wave four. But you know what, guys? I'm going to leave it there, actually. And uh, I want to show you guys quickly that we can... Okay. Let's, um, let's do damage and damage again. Why not? And we should be level three now. There we go, level three. So you can see, guys, that we can, you know, heal up these guys. I guess we can't. That sucks. It was uh, not six I had to do, it was four. There we go. So that heals up that. And we can heal up this one as well. And, you know, the further you get in the game, the, mo the better barricade you have. I'm assuming you can also summon actual people that will fight for you. So it is the tower defense idea. Um, or rather, the crystal defense idea. But, you know, the game's a lot of fun. It is. I really enjoy it, actually. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to say that I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Right now, once again, Dungeon Defenders is going on sale for 75% off in the Flash sale. Um, of course, when you're watching this, that, that might not be true information. Um, I think at full price, it's something like £10. Um, personally, I wouldn't say this game's worth £10, but I think it is worth the £2 price that it's at right this second that I'm recording this video. So, I think it's a game you guys might want to pick up. Hopefully, I demonstrated it well enough that you guys will either be persuaded or dissuaded from buying the game. Um, hopefully, I can reinforce your ideas that you already had or whatever about the game. But it was a lot of fun. Um, I can't see the game having a lot of longevity in terms of, you know, playing it for years and years and years. I can see you playing it for a day with some friends and being happy. 
Um, but apart from that, I can't really see the game having much playability. Or at least replayability. Um, but guys, apart from that, I'm going to leave you guys there. Um, and say thank you so much for watching. This was episode 3 of, our, of my coverage of the Steam Summer Sale. And you can obviously go get this game on Steam if you want it. But there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. My knight says goodbye. I like I like the fact there's a knight in the game. Nice little Templar for us to play. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll catch you all next time. Um, in the next uh, Steam Summer Sale that we cover. So there we go.